Hey, Yetta, can you see me? I can't see you. And the question is, can our employers see us or is it when we're out of sight, we're out of mind? Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward together with the Decker team. So welcome to another episode of Life's Inside Track. I'm Yetta Decker. And I'm Ken Decker. And we're excited that we get to hang out with you on this weekly episode where we get to share techniques, thoughts, tips, and tools that we all need. We all deserve you, I, everyone. We can turn our house into home, our families thrive, and we live the best life possible. So what we're going to consider is as we're growing our wealth, can we do that as well from home as from the office? It's a great question. It really is. And I think sometimes if we can't see someone, if we're not hanging out with them, we are out of sight, out of mind, and Zooming isn't enough. No, I agree with you. And I think that when you're, if you're working from home, now these tactics, by the way, are going to work whether you're working from home or you work at the office. Yeah, yeah, don't get stuck. But the special, they're, they're more important. Let me say that. They're more important when you're working from home. Because of that out of sight, out of mind. Right. You know, if if there's a promotion to be had, the person that's interacting with the boss frequently at work and you're working from home is more likely to think of the person that they work with regularly in person. Absolutely. And we found even with our real estate practice, the more we went virtual If we didn't communicate a whole lot with our sellers, it was like we weren't doing anything, even though we were doing exactly the same thing. Mm -hmm. But now there isn't a brochure hanging out in their home anymore. Now it's more virtual brochures. And Mm -hmm. so there's, you don't see that. They're not seeing us at work. And even when we had to cancel our our, um, family gatherings where our clients come together, meet with us, enjoy time together were in sight, in mind, and they would refer clients to us. Mm. And then when we couldn't do those, yeah. we're out of, sight, out of sight, out of mind. Right. And the nice thing is in 2022, we got to have two of our traditional four family gatherings. Mm-hmm. And I was so pumped. Couldn't do the first one because we were still in COVID lockdown. Second one was out in the strawberry patch and we managed to have it, which felt fantastic because mm-hmm. we hadn't had one for two years. Right. And then we got to go to the apple orchard and that was awesome in September. And then I was certain we were going to get to hang out at the tree farm, but COVID didn't allow it to happen again. Well, it did. No, yeah. they weren't even hosting gatherings yeah, and they wouldn't even do just I the know. Decker team. Even, even though COVID's not that big a deal anymore, for them, they had set up that their pathway would be people coming in one path and out another to have more separation. And we usually took the out path and that's where our gathering was. And so they didn't allow us to have our special event there. Right. They're still open, but they wouldn't allow no, us. No, no, I get it. They wouldn't allow anybody. It wasn't just us. They weren't out to get the decor You mean team. other people had events there? I yeah. thought we were special. We were the only ones. They didn't have many, but they couldn't host them. Right. Bottom line. Mm-hmm. And so when we get out of sight, so what can you do if you work for somebody or even you work with clients? Like how do you get? in front of them when it's not as easy as it used to be. Well, I think, first of all, either email them or call them. Bet caller is way better than emailing, mm-hmm. although I would call and then follow up with email so there's an email trail and ask what special skills would they benefit from or what things, if you did them well, would help your boss get a promotion or be recognized or just increase the value of you as a as an employee. What special things can I do? So Great question. question. Ask the question, right? Mm-hmm. Like, how can I best serve you? And, and then that's after, what, yeah, right. and then let me just finish this. Like, after they respond and they go, oh, you could do X, Y, and Z, that's when you write the email to them and say, just following up so there's a record of our conversation I heard you say that if I did X, Y, and Z, then that's going to help the company. Right. Right. And And then it also tells them that you're a good listener. 
you're you're uh, good at following up and mm-hmm. you're good at keeping records. Right. Then do those things. Well, yeah. Don't actually. One of my clients <laughs> said to me the other day, I went to see a new client, mm-hmm. and they've only been in their house two years, and I knew because I could remember two years back that we hadn't helped them buy the house. Mm -hmm. And I intentionally didn't look up who did because then I have a different perspective in my head. So I didn't look it up. I just went and I saw them and we had a great interaction. We were going through the house, figuring out what they could do to make changes. Their life had changed enough that it was probably time for a move again soon. And I said, am I okay to ask you a question that may be somewhat of a personal nature? Because Mm -hmm. I'm a little not sure or a little wondering why I'm here when you only bought the house a few years ago. So can, may I ask what caused you not to f- call that client, that realtor again? Right. And she said, actually, this is our seventh move. And we've only worked with the same realtor that helped us buy when we sold once. Hmm. And I said, intriguing. I said, can I inquire? Like, what is that? And she said, They were all, we had pretty good experience with everybody except maybe two of them. We would have, like, we would have worked with them again. We liked four of them a lot. Right. They took really good care of us. We were thrilled with the service that we got and the interaction and how they negotiated for us and everything. And they didn't stay connected. They didn't follow through. That's interesting. They didn't stay. They gave us a parting gift or a closing gift. As, yeah, which turned out to be a parting gift. Which turned out to be a parting gift. And so I thought, oh, that's intriguing. Have I ever done that? Probably more than I'd like to admit. But we work really hard. That's one of the reasons we started the family gatherings. So we could stay mm-hmm. connected to people that we like. So the follow-up. Cause them not to rehire that person. Or Even though they were if, great. Or if it's a job position, maybe right. not get the promotion because you didn't follow up with what they said. And also maybe ask what courses you might be able to mm-hmm. take. And here's a great one. Ask if the company will pay for them. Because if they improve your worth to the company, many times they will. They absolutely will. Mm-hmm. Um, so then yeah. take the course. Ace it, like put the effort forward. Don't just get by. Don't, you know, don't just go, okay, I took it. You know, I I registered for it and I showed up. No, like actually learn the stuff, implement it into your work Mm -hmm. and then update your resume. That's an interesting point. Like keep that resume updated all the time. Why? Because we're going to change companies? No, not necessarily. We might. What if we get get headhunted? Then at least you've got one going and you're not scrambling and panicking. Mm -hmm. But what if it's an internal position? An internal opportunity. What if there's an opportunity there that you can seize, but you can't. And if you don't do it in the moment, at Mm. least this is my experience, I forget the course I took. I forget the learning that I added to my repertoire. That's true because we learn a lot. And the other thing with having it updated is great because next time you have a annual review, if you, if your company does annual reviews or semi annual reviews, when you show up, bring your resume with you and say, Hey, I just took the time to update my resume. Here's all the courses I've taken Mm -hmm. and all of my expertise because Mm -hmm. maybe the person that's responsible for promotions wasn't the person that hired you and they don't see all your past experience and even the upgrades that you've been doing yeah so there's a little tip so one of the things i always tell people is learn on your time and earn on my time so your employer doesn't necessarily want to pay you to learn your job like do the time invested right investing Mm -hmm. the time so you'll get promotions if you grow on your time so we're grateful to be partners moving forward with you Learning wisdom, wealth, and worth. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward.